Hi Scorpio, it's your girl Alex and I am back to bring you guys another tarot reading. I hope you guys are doing amazing. Let's see what the universe has for my Scorpio gang gang. Beautiful. Two of Wands. Sun card. Five of Pentacles. I just heard, how do I get there from here? Ten of Wands. Some of you are having financial issues that are blocking you. You could be desperate to manifest. Love. Money. But your head is blocked. Six of Pentacles. Um, not much is coming in. Um, some of you may be attached to the outcome. Okay, not one card stayed in my hand. Yeah, some of you could be really, really, really attached to um, the outcome. I also kind of feel like somebody is trying to fake it till they make it, right? Put on a happy, brave face, stay positive. But that's not how law of attraction works because deep down inside, if you are feeling short, uh, baby, that's going to block your manifestations. Yeah, you're waiting for some, yeah, overanalyzing. So it's almost like you're taking a wait and see attitude and baby, you've been waiting for a minute, <laughs> right? It's like, I'm going to just wait for the bus to come freaking three weeks later. You still waiting. <laughs> Of course, that's a bullshit example. Um, angels are saying not much is making you happy these days. Oh, you've lost your mojo. Six of Cups, the return of happiness. Okay. Okay. Queen of Cups. Okay. You're going to be happy. A wish fulfilled, five of wands, struggle, five of cups, disappointment, five, 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 five of swords is not here. Okay, so I feel like there's going to be a break in your finances relatively soon. Two of wands is, you know, stuck, not necessarily sure how to proceed being at a crossroad. Not necessarily knowing what to do. Um, for some of you, it's analysis paralysis. You could have several different options. My cards are sliding because I'm very close to my mat. Let me move back so they could stop sliding. There we go. Okay, so um Kind of feels like you're angels saying are saying this could resonate with many people who have a lot already, right? You you have you know a decent amount of um you know money, happiness, prosperity, and it it kind of feels like you're bored. You don't necessarily know what to do, what's next, what you should be focusing on next, where happiness is coming in next. Some of you experience some sort of loss and this loss has blocked you. That's what it is. I kind of feel like whatever this loss was, um, it took away your sunshine or your ability to be happy. For some of you, it rocked your security levels, right? It, 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 um, made you insecure, right? Unstable. And right now it just kind of feels like things are stacked up against you. This to me almost feels like you're trying to find your inner happy, 
but something depleted you something um something was lost and whatever again whatever this loss was cuz i feel like i'm repeating myself and you're looking to manifest it's almost like you're wanting to bring back that loving feeling that happy feeling that joy um you're praying for soulmate for some of you this could have been um you experienced some sort of breakup it feels like over the last two years within the last two years and i feel like you've managed to get over it you know what i mean but it's almost like now that you're over it you're not necessarily sure if you want to jump back into the dating pool if you want to give this love thing a try again you don't know if you can experience a loss like that again and right now you're just stuck well i'm gonna tell you something i'm gonna tell you something right now in just plain freaking english if you're wanting love right companionship um emotional connection romance if if any of those apply you're gonna have to heal and reactivate your heart because that's the only way you're going to attract love is to bring yourself back into a vibration of love okay so so it's not like you can just be um anhedonic you know bored humdrum dull right and then just be like well if it happens it happens the universe don't work like that okay if you want humdrum baby we will bring you the biggest hum and the biggest damn drum okay if you want new and exciting and, and full and happy and active love that's what your heart is going to have to vibrate at in order to attract it now this is wishing for soulmate connection i can almost even hear some of you saying yeah i wish i could meet somebody who is a lot like me or who didn't come with the bullshit or who is loving and not a liar and you know is a giver and not a taker but you know i've said this to you before scorpio and i'm gonna say it again that fell um you can't love from behind these wands let me hold that up you can't love from behind the ten of wands you can't love from behind the nine of wands hell you can't love from behind the eight of wands okay so right now, the Ten of Wands, something is blocking your happiness. Something is blocking your heart. And by the way, by the way, it's also blocking your manifestations. And I don't even care if you're wanting to manifest a new car or a new job or new friends or a move or a new pet. I don't care what that is. If you're blocked because of some sort of deficit, oh baby, it blocks everything in your life, right? um yeah this kind of feels like some of you have moved forward right you can feel things shifting and turning and going in your favor but i just feel like there is some sort of impediment some sort of block obstruction something's obstructing this shift right so it's almost like <laughs> this is stupid my angels are like it's almost like you try to make a call and your, your phone dies, right? Or you try to get in your car to go somewhere and you ain't got no gas, right? So it's, to me, it's almost like you're trying to move on, but Seven of Pentacles is like, is your, have you committed? Have you agreed to it? Are you open to it? Are you ready for it? Did you convince yourself, right? Did you give yourself a pep talk? This is the card turned over seven of wands and the answer is no right now by the way again you cannot love from behind the ten the nine the eight the seven the six five four three two or one you cannot love from behind any wand right seven of wands is boundaries seven of wands is drawing a line in the sand and saying i'm over here you're over there deal with it that's not love right love has to be now by the way you need boundaries right but you can't set up a defense and then call them boundaries bingo dingo bingo dingo 
I just saw the seven of swords. It, 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 sh it went back into the deck as I was shuffling. And my angel just says, that's how you're deceiving yourself in thinking that, you know, I could be protective in love and still attract love. And we're saying to you, no, you can't. Okay. Okay. Um, angels are saying if for many of you, this is, this reading is resonating to your love life. You're overthinking and your overthinking is caught is, is creating a block, right? It's, it's, it's a habit that you have for many of you, maybe a coping mechanism to soften up the fear of moving forward. Ew, that's where you struggle. That's your struggle. Eight of Swords and the um, Five of Cups. Whatever happened in your past, Scorpio, you're not over it, right? Now, by the way, let's flip this for a moment, for a moment, to just kind of show you how readings don't always have to be about love and relationships, right? Like if you, you know, applied for a promotion at work and you got super excited and you thought you were going to get it, then you got passed over. And that shit hurt, right? Because you got passed over, you know, by someone who wasn't qualified, right? Whatever that was, whatever that disappointment was, whether it's work, love, whatever it was, it's still sticking with you. It's still inside of you. You haven't gotten over it. The Wheel of Fortune and the Five of Wands, fortune is trying to come to you, but there is still some sort of, chaos or um um conflict that's blocking that forward movement that fortune eight of swords is being stuck in your head stuck in your own perception stuck in your own belief so it's almost like the eight of swords is making your mind up right and again, I will say this and I will say this until I can't speak no more. Thoughts are not real. Okay. So whatever you think, oh, I'm not going to go for a promotion again because the same thing is just going to happen again. That's what you think. It hasn't physically happened. Now, angels will say, be careful because if you think about it hard enough, enough to vibrate, it will happen again. Not only that, but if you're, you lack faith and that is all that you believe, that is all that will keep happening, right? One of my favorite sayings is you can't expect me to be an angel and treat me like the devil, right? Because after a while, I'm going to convert, right? After a while with, if I don't set a boundary, I'm going to allow that negative energy inside, especially if I'm not strong spiritually or mentally or emotionally, eventually I am going to become what you're treating me like. You see what I mean? Angels also said too, for some of you, this is somebody's perception of a situation. I don't know if it's yours. I don't know if it's someone else's. See my feet, <laughs> right? Um, but it's almost like if all you ever think about is disappointment and bad things happening and, you know, they're not going to consider me because I don't have a degree or, you know, they, you know, I only make this an hour. I can't double my salary. If that's all you believe, then baby, that's all you're going to attract. So it's almost like the past replaying itself over and over again. Five of Pentacles with the Six of Cups. It's almost like the universe is trying to bring you in something good. But it can't because your mind is blocking it. Your mind is, is blocking it with a negative perception of reality. The world card, experience, knowledge, you know, um, seasons, eight of swords, nine of cups. Six of Cups. Um, by the way, Scorpio, positivity is not the answer, right? Like if you have a shitty mind and then you say to yourself, okay, well, I just need to be more positive. 
That's like having burnt chicken and being like, okay, I just need to put some salt on it. And baby, it's still fucking burnt. Okay. So, yeah, I am so against this whole positivity movement. You know what I mean? Oh, you just have to be more positive. Fuck that. If, if you have a eight of swords mind, a limiting, closed-minded, stuck perception type of mind, oh, honey, we, we first need to, to blow you out of these, these um, strongholds. Empress, meh. That's abundance. Angels just said to me, and you deserve whatever it is you're asking for, by the way. You deserve, you absolutely do. The only thing that's blocking you is your human mind. Angels just said to me, some of you have asked, well, how do I change that? And we'll just say to you, think the opposite or think like, oh, uh, uh, the angels just, just said, give the benefit of the doubt. So if you're stuck in your head as in, no, I don't think I could get this job. No, I don't think, you know, I'm going to fall in love. No, I don't think there's a person out there for me. The benefit of the doubt just says, hmm, maybe there is, right? Maybe I just haven't met them, right? Maybe they're not at work or maybe they're not in my neighborhood or maybe they're not at the little hole in a wall that I visit every Friday night, right? Maybe it's something else, somewhere else, right? So the benefit of the doubt is to introduce maybe. And this one fell out and booyah. Ace of Cups. Angels just also said to me too, even me saying that, forgive me, I'm shifting because my, sorry, I kicked my tripod. Yeah, all right. This crisscross applesauce is bullshit. Anyway, uh -huh. Ace of Cups. So, so visualization. Uh, visualization may help just simply because visualization um, will, will, will knock you out of the negative perception. Okay, that makes sense to me. So visualization would help, help train the mind. Okay, I'm okay with that. Ooh, the big pentacle, the big pentacle. So the answer here, I'm gonna summarize, Wherever you sit right now, Scorpio, however you think, however you love or lack thereof, whatever you believe, whatever habits you have, right? Like, oh, child, I don't know what show that was on, but there was this woman, she went, went on a blind date and she was like, yeah, I don't get out that much. Guys are intimidated by me and blah, 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 blah. She just kept fucking talking and I was on the other side of my TV like, bitch, shut the fuck up. Nobody calls you back for a second date because you don't let them get a goddamn word in edgewise. Get a damn cat, right? <laughs> so I'm saying all of that to say there's something for some of you, maybe not many of you, there is something that you have been conditioned to do, to believe, to feel, to, to act like. And it's blocking you from receiving whatever it is that you want to receive. I hope that makes sense. It's nice in general because I'm reading for all kinds of Scorpios, but but it is. Look, the Hierophant. The Hierophant is tradition. Now, the Hierophant to me also represents looking at the big picture. The big picture to me is the universe. You see what I mean? So Six of Pentacles, Eight of Wands, you give a little, baby, universe is going to give you a whole lot of little, okay? That's, that's the way of the universe. The Hierophant says, listen, tr this is how it's always happened. Okay. Here is the universal law. Okay. So Scorpio, this reading kind of says to me, get out of your own way, right? By upgrading, um, the wheel of fortune, upgrading that in which you struggle with 10 of wands for me are habits. Okay, so just like that woman on that TV show who kept fucking running her goddamn mouth, shut the fuck up, break that habit. <laughs> okay, Woo now, why is this important? Because the very first row, 
two, seven, seven, right? Two is what do I do? Where do I go? Is it going to work out this time? Right? Two is at a crossroads. Is it going to work out? Um, maybe I should do it this way. Or maybe I should, maybe you should listen more so to the universe than trying to recreate it with your mind. Now the six of cups is here twice too. I cannot come out of this reading without mentioning six of cups, nine of cups, six of cups, and, and empress, ace of cups, ace of pentacles. As soon as you correct it, the universe corrects it, right? It's almost like, you know, if you want the pot to boil, turn the fire on, right? So it's, you know, it is uni as soon as you take the correct action, universe comes on in like, hey, so you said you wanted how much more an hour? You wanted what kind of car? Angels also said too, seven of pentacles, analysis, paralysis. You overthink everything. You know, there are several messages I would love to uh, teach humankind, okay? And I think one of the biggest lessons is how powerful and ridiculous the human mind is, right? It's a powerful tool. Right. Because I could believe all of these, the evil. I could believe I'm a witch. I could believe, you know, I'm Satan. I can believe all of these things just by thinking and then something, you know, jarring that memory or triggering me to go along with it. Right. That that law of attraction connection, that manifestation um, connection that says, hey, you are. You know, you did kill all of those gnats the other day. So you're a murderer. Okay. Well, damn. Right? So uh, I'm going back into how powerful the human mind is because it'll allow you to believe anything. Okay? And how dumb it is because it will allow you to believe anything. So out of, out of all of this, I will say to you, Scorpio, control your mind better. Control your beliefs, control your thoughts. Thoughts become actions sometimes. Actions are turn into habits. Habits become blockages, right? The flow of the universe basically says, he's not here, but the hermit. It's almost like wait for our instruction, key in your coordinates to the universe, and we will, we will tell you the path and the direction. We won't control speed. We won't control what vehicle you take. We only control the route, okay? If you decide to drive from California to New York, the universe is like, here's the route that you take. Baby, if you take four lifetimes to get from California to New York, that's on you, right? Because you have to remember your energetic, energetic lifetime is eternity. This human condition, this 3D time-space continuum is lifetimes, is segmented, right? It's seasonal. You see what I mean? So if the universe says, baby, here's the route. It's up to you. Take your time. Take the vehicle. Oh, you want to take four lifetimes? No problem. You still have to get from Cali to New York, okay? We as humans, we get on the road and we're like, wait a minute, hold up. It's too hot. It's the summertime. It's like triple digits, you know, all on the West Coast. So you know what? I'm going to delay it by three weeks or three months. You know what I mean? Like we're the ones who take too long, who speed up too much or who deviate. You know what? Ooh, I got to drive across the desert. I'm not going to take that way. I'm going to take 20 and then I'm going to hit this high. And the universe is like, what the fuck? That's not the, the route we told you. Okay. Okay. Angels just said to me too, some of you are figuring out, well, how do I know what, what route they're telling me to take? And we're saying to you, your intuition, right? So dialing into your intuition is like dialing into your own personal GPS system. You know what I mean? And one, and your God, your the universe is never going to steer you wrong, right? Not only that, but if you come across those mid, those, um, plain states, and there are tornadoes. The universe will be like, okay, babe, we're going to get, we're going to blow your engine or we're going to bust your tire or we're going to, you know, fry your alternator. So you got to spend two days in Utah. The universe is in, in, in control of that. I hope that makes sense. It was my, you know, energetic rant. Let me read these angel answers cards and get you out of here. Scorpio.
And I'm sorry, guys. I can't. I can't. I've said this before. I try to give readings to help you guys develop you because the happier you are, the happier your life is. Look for a sign. And I'm going to tell you something. I was shuffling these cards and three of them fell on the floor. Cap. Cap. Damn it. So just hang on. Hang out. Hold on. I got to pick them up with my feet. Ugh. Okay. Hold on. They're coming. These have to be good ass cards because they don't hit the floor. Okay. That's the seven of wands. Okay. Look. Big happy changes hit the flow. Big happy changes. Unlikely. There's that negative mind. Peaceful resolution universe. That's the path. We gave you the route. So you're supposed to have a peaceful resolution. You're supposed to have a great drive. Any, any obstructions in your path, the universe takes care of that. And again, we will stop you or slow you down or send the message to you. Okay. Rerouting, rerouting. Okay, so be careful about your negative mind trying to guide you in a bullshit direction. All right, I'm going. I love you, Scorpio. If the reading resonates, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Bye, baby.